Hello YouTube! So, welcome to Australia! We made it! We are in Perth. I'm spending my first four or five days in Perth since it's on the World Wonder List. And then I'm going to be making my way to Sydney on Thursday the 18th. And then going straight into my new apartment. Uh, I thought I would check in with you guys really quick. Ugh. The flight, the trip coming here was crazy. So I flew from Frankfurt to Doha, and then I had a nine hour layover in Doha airport, which by the way is amazing. I haven't, I've been to Doha before, but I not before they built the new airport. And it's a really, really nice airport with like a metro system inside the airport, really good restaurants and everything. And I'm pretty sure they built all of that because I don't really watch football, but I think the football, soccer, something, something was there a couple of years ago. So, and even Doha, because I left the airport, obviously, because I had such a long time. Um, it really, like, from what I saw, I was like, man, there was a lot of buildup happening in the last couple of years since I went there. I think I was there maybe 20, 2012, 2013 or so. So... Good for you, Doha. And then I had the 11 and a half hour flight from Doha to Perth, which I got lucky because the seat next to me was empty. And on top of that, because I was so tired because I forced myself not to sleep from on the flight to Doha, and I forced myself not to sleep the nine hour layover. So the flight was at 2 a.m. and I hadn't slept since the day before. I think when I got up at 3 a.m. to drive to Frankfurt so I'd been up for like 24 hours and I slept probably six or seven hours on the flight and arrived at Doha I arrived to Perth um, customs went pretty easy immigration went pretty easy so all that was fine then got to the the hotel here and the bed here is so comfortable, even though this is kind of like a cheapy hostel. So I was not expecting that at all. And I was like, oh my God, it's so comfortable. <laughs> I was like, I love this bed. And then on my first full day in Perth, I went to go see the Elizabeth Quay. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, Perth is pretty cute. I have to say, I prefer the suburb area to the downtown area. Actually, I have to say, like, so far, Australia is, at least Perth, is giving me kind of a Midwest, United States kind of vibe, the way the city looks and stuff. It looks so wild, wild west, the way the architecture is and the suburbs. I really like it. Um, I think it's really cute. And then today, I went to this wildlife park, and I got to hold a koala. I'm going to put a little put those videos at the end and tomorrow I'm gonna go to Rottnest Island do some swimming and then the day after heading to Sydney so so far very happy the weather is amazing the weather is perfect here and actually I have to say Perth would strike me as a place that would be really nice to settle down I don't know if it'd be a place I would enjoy being single because it's dead um, <laughs> I was actually in shock walking around yesterday and today as well. I was like, where is everybody? Like, is there any people who live here? Uh, but it's very beautiful. It's very clean. People are very friendly. I think it'd be a really nice place to like settle down and raise children. If, yeah. So yeah, um, overall, very good. I'm not as jet lagged as I thought I would be. So that's another positive. Uh, probably because I passed out the day I arrived again and then last night I slept pretty well like I said the bed's really comfortable so you guys I still haven't gotten I'm still a little bit nervous because everything hasn't really been figured out yet in terms of you know getting a job or anything so I'm still pretty nervous so keep praying for me you guys and the next video will probably be a Welcome to Sydney. Here is my apartment tour kind of video. So hopefully you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, and I love, oh my God. I got a SIM card right at the airport, 90 gigabytes and like unlimited calling and texting, I think for probably roughly 20 euros. 
In Germany, for 20 euros, you get like maybe five gigabytes. So I was like, 90 gigabytes on five euros. I'm like, oh my God, I love Australia. <laughs> and actually, I think the prices are pretty fair too for the souvenirs and everything has been very fair. I'm like, whoa, it's way cheaper than Germany. Like way, way cheaper food and everything. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you guys are doing well and take care. Deuces. <laughs> Following me?